You have to remember that the population of the Gaza Strip is only 2.2 million people. And we also have to remember that half of these 2.2 million are children, by definition, below 18 years of age. So the numbers of 40,000 or 120,000, if you make percentage of that, it means that maybe somewhere between two and two and a half percent of the whole population of Gaza has been killed or uh, wounded. So these numbers are unseen in modern times in our world. We have never seen an armed conflict with a governmental army like the Israeli occupation army fighting a civilian society in the brutal, the most brutal of all brutal ways with these numbers of killed and don't forget the wounded. There are maybe between a thousand and five thousand children with amputations. And don't forget that if we use the number 40,000, don't forget this is the tip of the iceberg. There may be as many as 120 to 180,000 people who have been either killed, died from complications, died from starvation, died from thirst and infections. And a large number of these are innocent civilian women and children. It is a disgrace to the world. It's a disgrace to the European unity. It's a disgrace to the United States, to Canada, to Australia, to all these governments who have been back padding Israel and allowing them to perpetrate this massive war crimes.